what you're doing at Clark's Place today. Okay, we've taken this switch that was here. It runs our 220. Our lights up above, I don't know if you can show them. Yep. There's a two strips inside that are 110, and the two four the four on the outside are 220 lights. And they're the high bay, what, high intensity? Uh, six lamp T5 high outputs. High outputs. This switch was always here for the mercury vapor lights that used to be in this garage, which we got rid of those a long time ago. But I never did switch this because I thought it'd be too hard to put it over where the 110 is. Well, uh, two lines, we're going to take this apart. We're going to extend these on around, drop it down the wall. Yeah. Go across the wall here above this garage door, across and down. And this is the 110 switch for the lights, you yep. can see. And then this switch has nothing Got tied to it. So I would love it if we could get that my switch into this. My intention was to make that the 220 switch, but I never did get around to doing it. So gotcha. we're going to do it today. We are not electricians, but I think we can extend the two legs of that line. We can just cut those right there. Well, one side of that is hot, but you cut off the breaker to it, right? Yes. Okay, so it should be all dead. We'll, we'll basically wire nut into both lines an extension of like, I don't know, what do you think? 10, is that garage door 12 foot? Yeah. 12 to another 10 to down, maybe maybe 30 plus feet maybe. Right, that's what I'm thinking. So extend both those legs, wire it in over there to the switch that's in the wall and we should be golden. Right. We'll see how it goes. All right, we believe this to be a 220 switch. Wow. What do we have here? Yeah, I think we just, instead of getting into rewiring the switch, just cut a leg, cut a leg. Yeah. Cut both of these up here past, leave the switch alone, and we'll just, Yeah. maybe like you said earlier, is cut, cut the line somewhere and snake that up through the wall and then tie in that with something over there. I don't know. Yeah, well, we could. Next steps. Well, the only, yeah. And then we'll feed that through the box. That's what I'm thinking. Fish tape, yeah. pull it up through the wall, and then tie all this already connected. If we, right. if we can get all of this there, and this to go in that switch, we'll see. Right. I'll go take apart the other switch, see what it looks like. Yeah. What's that look like? Uh, it looks like just a blank switch here. And there's nothing hooked up to it. Nothing, no, I see. I mean, this is still hot here, I'm sure. Because that is... Oh yeah, that one's going to be hot. That's a totally different circuit. So I'm thinking either go from here and shove the fish tape up through the wall, well, we'll through the top plate. Get on the top, we'll take the fish tape down, hook the top of it up. I don't know if you're going to be able to get inside this box. Should be able to. Because well, we you're not going to be able to pull those wires down through that box. But That's what I'm you can fish feed tape them up. up through and then pull something else down that you could pull the wires up through it. No, you put the fish tape down, pull it out here, hook your wires all up to it, and then feed it through and pull your wires up, your switch into it. I that that's what I off. didn't know how that was. Oh, it's all open. I figured there was a top plate at least, but maybe not two plates. And that was all solid there. So. Yeah, but it just busts out. Well, watch, because those legs are hot in there on one side of that. Yeah. That's why I grabbed the shock, shock proof. Yeah, go ahead and throw the non-shock proof screwdriver in yeah, there. Well, because the other one wasn't good enough. No, the, it, the other one wasn't flat to get under that. Is that insulation in there? I'm sure it's the back side of the wall. Man. So I'm saying we can... We can do a right angle attachment and drill a hole in the yeah. top of this plastic here yeah, if we see. want. Okay. And then we should be good. Yeah. You can pull that out to what? pull it out of the way so we're not getting shocked when we're trying to mess with it in there. You okay. could. And we could turn that leg off too. 
yeah it goes on you're just breaking one and it goes on and up and feeds the lights yeah and you just broke the hot side now we can get in there and, and put a hole in here if we want to yeah i can't believe there's not holes in the well there are yeah there are holes should be those just, angled slots in the yeah. back yeah yeah there's those it well, should we could punch it out and then run the fish tape up through i think we'll yeah, have we better luck getting it through a hole it up through and then all right so cut that switch out we left a couple little legs we'll reroute put the switch in the wall after we run new wires down and then we left those hooked up just to make sure we get the new wires actually connected the way they go and pops is pulling wires back through. Trying to. I'm gonna see up your skirt. So we're gonna take that out as far as it'll go. Wire nut in another box there. Yes. With the extension lines to go over. Conjunction junction. Yep. What's your function? Oh, okay. You need a hammer? Yep. Alright, well don't go shaking your ladder too much, you know, like you are right now. I'm gonna put my foot on this. Oh, that's much okay, more safe. Okay, right there's the two nails. The two things. Don't go shaking your ladder. Don't go shaking your ladder. Hey, I don't know if you, I don't know if you know how to use this hammer. It's a cobalt hammer. It's blue. Is it? I couldn't find your red Milwaukee one. Yeah, it'll work. Those blue hammers don't work near as good as the red ones, huh? No. <laughs> Or yeah. I, can, I can go up and I can just snake them along if you want. But then we're going to put a box in over here. Yeah, it's probably going to be right here. Yeah, we might as well leave these out right here. Yeah. They can okay. probably mount it on that rafter right there. Can mount it on that rafter. If you want. Let me put a couple screws through it. Give me our weakest drill we own, huh? That thing will do just great. Oh. That powerhouse. That's a Milwaukee. Not even fuel. I ain't got enough ass. <laughs> is it the battery low? I don't know. Yeah, it is. It's only up one. Get me an M18. All right. All right, she's a solid. You can hang on that thing now. <laughs> I'm not going to. Okay, good. I didn't want you to. Well, do you want to try to run? We should just run this all the way over to the wall. It's just the curse of being someone's son. <laughs> I had the end point. No idea, nothing I've ever done will ever be good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right? I did. My way is never the right way. Sure it is. Hey, how about we go across this and pull it your way? Does okay. that sound good? All right. Let's try that. <laughs> I just didn't want to backtrack and have to come back to this box. <laughs> We actually need to do If we two started of them. there and did this, we wouldn't be backtracking. Now I'm backtracking to that box. I'm sure I will see it again. Yeah, you got to do another line. We I couldn't to... possibly do them both at the same time. Yeah, right? I want to hand you the other line. So that would make them both. way too much sense. I guess you can... Oh, you were going to correct me again? No, uh, that won't work. <laughs> now I go say, you can't go over the top. Just see if you've got enough to put it in that corner, over and down. I don't know if that's long enough. There. Oh, that's going to be tight. Here. I, it, probably. Maybe. That's tight, but I, if we need to extend that cable some more, we'll do another. Well, we'll just cut two of them out of that long. Okay, I need the ladder. For what? To go here to tuck it. No, I'm doing two at a time. Give oh, me another right. line. That's right, I gotta get the other thing. <laughs> oh, you, you're gonna agree with me? No, I forgot we were doing the other one first. The red letter date. Oh. I was right. Oh. One time today. Probably the last time. <laughs> For the day. Probably. This is gonna be so nice to have the switch to stick out there. Oh, you've only put up with it for eight what? years. Eight years you've done it this way. <laughs> and the more and more we work on the cars, there's always something in the way. You gotta walk around your car, or walk around the Mustang, or something. Oh, good. So we've only got two of these. No, that we can use. 
Hang on, I'll have to dig some more out. You said the tie, like it's the only one. It's the only one up there. We have a tiny on the train board, mister. Oh, those little single ones? That's got all those wires held up off this. So I'm happy with that. That's got those held. So we'll do another one out in, out in land over there. Okay. Let's say do it down there where there's no spring. It's less diameter, to the right. Oh, okay. They went to hammer, I caught it. Did it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it fell off the one end down here. Oh yeah, there you go. You're just testing my left hand and backwards hammering skills, huh? There's a snake behind that. We can snake we go go behind that post. And you might be able to just tuck it and leave it. Tuck you and leave you in a minute. As long as it's in a nice warm place. I'm going to go ahead and tuck this one behind. Just right there. Easy, easy. Fish tape from down here up the wall. Yeah, I want to hold it there. Drill. And You're gonna drill a hole in that top way there. Yeah, you probably will because I don't think it's got a big open to put these in. And for the record, I've used this tool twice now. What tool? This cable cutter. <laughs> I think we used it in the one wire alternator video. Yeah. To cut through those. It's still working great. Ten years old, been used twice. Still works great. Pull Maybe fish it up through. Because it's going to come through. out at the top somewhere. I'll hook the wire and then you can pull it pull it through the hole. We'll have to tape it, hook Sorry. it. That yeah. was my idea. Shot down from the very beginning. All right, we're going to drill this out. All right. So now we got a hole. Now we're going to fish tape, grab wire, pull down. Good. Okay. Here we go. We're not hooking up with anybody. Look at you fish taping like a professional. Yeah. If I that it. comes out the top, I'm going to be so surprised. Oh, yeah. I did not know that's how this was constructioned. Sounds like your own insulation. Sounds like it's right there. How much do you have in the wall? Quite a bit. Okay, wiggle some more. Yeah, just kind of. Oh, hold on, hold on. Pull it down. Keep on pulling down. Pull, pull, pull. It's it's flexed around up here. Oh. Keep on pulling down. Oh, there you go. Hold on, I got the end of it. Da, 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 da. All right, that's plenty. All right, why don't we put both of them on here? Damn. That I was thinking I might just try to attach both of these in some way somehow to this. Yeah. Uh, how about we just do a bunch of some nice tape? Then if you get this down to where it's close to coming through, you can just kind of yeah. wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. Yeah, it should it should wiggle. Yeah. I like that left-handed off balance on the ladder catch. Didn't you? Yeah, that'll that's a three-pointer. I'm gonna just kind of make sure this goes down. Don't pull too tough. Hold oh, no. Yeah, I got, whoop, got tape coming through. I got some more tape. I got both wires coming through. Oh, look at that. They're little footballs. How are they? Laces out. They're good. All right. 
good. All right, so stripping wires. Yes. And gonna. You're not doing anything into the other switch at all, are you? No. Gotcha. You're just putting the two different grounds together. Yep. And then we're gonna wire that switch up. And then this switch, you can see in this contraption, the grounds get all wired together. Then they go over to the ground. And then the switch breaks both legs. White to black. Okay. How oh, is cool. that just wrapped around there? I think it is just. Oh, it just sticks in. Yeah. So they don't have to be super, super long. Oh, I see. It's just strip them, push them down next to alongside. Yeah. I think this looks like a Hubble plug. I'm not sure. Hubble stuff is super nice. Yeah, it's in space, right? Yes. We get images from it yeah. occasionally. <laughs> You're so clever. How's that working out for you being clever? Keep it up then. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Okay. Cool. Take this off. All stripped. You got black on this side. I try to I don't think there was a any positive or negative or common and well just hot. let's take a once over and really oh, look at it i'm just going to do the exactly how they have it looks like blacks on that side yeah yeah so you're just going to do blacks on yeah blacks on blacks off pretty much <laughs> You left a white so you knew which side. <laughs> yeah. ah, I didn't leave the, one of the legs long on the ground, but that's okay. Uh, it goes underneath yeah. that little brass tab. There we go. We're under. Uh -huh. Is there anything that these wires need to snake through first? Uh -uh. Before, so that's just going to mount and the plate goes yeah. over it and it's good. This will push up a little bit and those will just fold accordion back like an accordion. I mean, you don't want a ton because your box can only hold so much, but. Okay. Ground goes on the green screw. Yep. Did you leave a. No, I meant to. I'll, I'll take it back some and just cut one leg off a little bit. Yeah. Of the ground line. I think it's loopy loop it. This tool is made that if you grab the end of it, you can twist yeah. and make a nice little. My favorite tools in the world. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'd say just bend it back on itself. I am. I'm going to use the nice curly one. Actually, I'm going to put it up. I'm going to put them on last. Do a little twist. A little twist with that. Mm -hmm. and then it'll tighten that together. Yep. So now. The, the legs from these wires, I think this black is even, those two wires, that needs to be on the same side of the plug, the top and bottom. I think that's how it was. Is that how it was? Pretty sure. So, so this if, one's on the top, so this one's on the so top. So that one goes there, yeah, I believe so. Seems like it's a older style switch, but that new one we had was just like this one pretty much. Uh -huh. But we're not sure it's rated the same, so I'd really use we the know one that we know it works. Okay, that's you got it off upside down. So yeah. it just needs to turn. Yeah, we'll just need to twist. So the You got your ground get done? So the ground goes to the bottom. Alright, I wanna twist this. Yes. But I gotta put the ground on. Yeah, get your ground. 
I want to take and put this one in first. You get your ground on that? That's what I'm doing. Well, the ground is this isn't. This. That, but that gets turned over to the bottom side, right? I know. I got to get this pulled out a little bit. There we go. There. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Does it matter if the blacks are on one side or the white side or the mm -mm. left side or the right side? Okay. Now we gotta push that ground up in there because it's stiff. There we go. Okay. And you got your little Milwaukee. Okay. Just to hold those on. Okay, this one needs the top. I think they're all in there. Good enough. Let's see what the see what the fish think of it. I think they like it all right. Yep. I can flip it on and see how if the switch goes. Yep, switch still full travel. Okay, I thought that's a pretty thick plate. I didn't know if it'd be interfering. And then I've got a great screwdriver for you right mm -hmm. there. Is there a reason you have the fish plate? I never asked you that question. Because it was there and you put it up and it was the only double that you had, so you just put it in. Uh, that could have something to do with it. Or just you love fishing. I think we had it a long time ago and <clears throat> Mom said put it out here. It would look good in our new garage. Mm -hmm. It does too. Yeah, I like it. Can't complain about it. It's done a good job its whole life. Yeah, those fish are dirty. Dirty <sighs> fish. We're not going in a hole right there for some reason. You want a little awl to stick through there? Line up the hoe. Oh, I see it's off to the... Can you wiggle it? Maybe. There we go. I think it wiggled over. We'll get it started and then... Oh, that's across the line, definitely. Oh, no, there it goes. That looks level. Level enough. I don't know if your drywall is level. <laughs> of course it's level. <laughs> hey, it's covered and it'll keep us from getting electrocuted, hopefully. Ceramic's not conductive, is it? <laughs> Alright, so last thing is connecting the wires together where they come together and go over to the breaker. So, next on Clark's Place. Maybe it doesn't matter. We'll wire it and see think, what it does. I think it just breaks one side or the other, and yeah. that, that switch takes. So I don't think it matters, but do we have a fire extinguisher in case on hand? What's it going to do besides just blow the breaker? That's it, pop the breaker. There is a chance that when we flip the breaker on, the lights could just come on. Right. If that's the case, then they're wired. Then we'll just wire these nut and leave it hanging. Turn it on and see what's up. If we kick on the breaker and the lights stay off, then it's wired right. If we kick on the breaker and the lights come on, it's running the power directly from the breaker directly to the light, circumventing the light switch. Superseding, circumventing. Yeah, we need four, I guess. You just wanted to use more of your lifetime supply of yeah, nets. I wanted to use them. Uh, officially, I've earned my title as boom operator. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Shaky boom. 
<laughs> well, look at you booming. Oh, you got a kick out of seeing that in your face, didn't you? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, you're right there. It don't work. I always wish that it had. Oh, you didn't do all the ground together, you just did ground Well, ground I'm going to. Ground. I just got the first ones together. Now I'll put these all together. Oh, that's close. <laughs> Gotta check out what you're doing up there. All right. All right, we can give her a try now. All right, well, let's turn the switch off. We'll, we'll stay focused on that in case there's a big spark. Okay. Switch so, off. Switch is off. Okay. Here goes the breaker. And the lights didn't come on, so... Click the switch. That might mean that it's actually wired correctly. Let's flip the switch on. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Hold on, let me get you. Yay! <laughs> that is a lifelong dream come true. Eight years in the making. <laughs> right. Cool. We're, we're good to go. All right. Any final words today? Let the light shine. <laughs> all right, so all six lamps are on. I don't know how well that'll come out. Turn out the 110. That's just the two in the center are out. And then turn out the 220. And you can see the six lamps in there. I don't know if you can see those. That's just on a 110 plug over there. But this one will do the 110 switch and then 220 switch bing quite a bit more light thanks for watching today bye bye